Hi everyone, I'm Fedragon and in this video I'll guide you through a procedure of installing Windows Server 2008 R2 64 bits on HP ProLion DL360 G4. And immediately question arises why you would need a video tutorial to install Windows when everybody knows how to install Windows. Answer is that the procedure is different when you're installing Windows on ProLion comparing to installation procedure on usual desktop and laptop PCs. When you install Windows Server on ProLiant Server, you should start with something called Smart Start, and it's actually a CD which you'll use in addition to Windows Server installation media. The CD contains drivers and who knows what else, but if you use this CD, the setup is straightforward and simple. To accomplish this task, we need to prepare needed installations. Of course, we must have Windows Server installation, but in this case, we must have it as ISO image on flash drive. So, if you have installation media on DVD, you should create ISO image from it and copy it to flash drive. DL360 G4 doesn't have DVD ROM anyway. Funny, but second task is opposite. You should download ISO image of Smart Start CD and burn it on CD. Let me show how to find Smart Start CD. First, you should find business support page for your ProLiant model. So I'll search for HP ProLiant DL360G4P. It's my model and the first link is linked to HP Business Support Center for my model. So I'll go there. I'll check again if I'm on the right place by checking model DL360G4P. Yes, I'm on the right place. Then I'll go to dri uh, download drivers and software section by clicking this link. And next step is to choose operating system. In my case, this is Windows Server 2008 64 bits. So I'll click this link. And I'll end up on a page with a bunch of different software packages, drivers, and who knows what else. And I'll hit Control F to speed up process and I'll type smart start. Smart start is one word. We are searching for something called smart start CD. So the first result isn't what we are looking for. I'll go to second result. The second result is HP smart start CD 64 bits. Obviously it's software we want to download. I'll click download button and my download will start immediately. It's a zip archive and after download finishes you'll find ISO image in this archive. Uh, everything you need to do is to burn this ISO image on CD. I strongly suggest you to check every download, every, every software downloaded from internet with MD5 checksum whenever it's possible. In this case, you can find uh, uh, MD5 checksum uh, on download page by clicking this link. And on download page under tab installation instructions, you'll find MD5 checksum you'll use later to check your download. Okay, this is it. After we prepared everything needed, we are ready to start with installation itself. Uh, simply put CD and flash drive in ProLiant and restart it. As you can see, I restarted my ProLiant. Uh, video quality of the rest of the video is poor because I'm accessing my server to remote consoles, so sorry. But I'm sure you'll be able to get the point. I assume that you've already set up your logical drive, so I won't guide you here through this. Uh, if you haven't done this, you can watch my other tutorial on this subject. So we won't interrupt boot procedure at all. It'll take some time for server to boot, so we'll wait.
At this moment, you can hit F1 to speed up process, at least I'll do. And as we can see, server booted from Smart Star CD. After short countdown, Smart Start is started. We must wait for this booting to finish, so to fulfill your pleasure in watching this video, I'll sing for you. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. For my darling, I love you, and I always will. Thank you, thank you. There's really no need for such applause. Smart Start is now loading drivers and stuff, and again we must wait. And it is loading something again. And finally, we've reached the setup wizard. On the first page, you can choose uh, language and keyboard. In my case, I'll choose default values, English, and hit next. The second page is really, really great. I encourage you to read it, uh, but I'm in hurry, so I'll just click agree. And here we should choose what we actually want to do. Since we want to install operating system, we should choose the first option. But if you see an exclamation mark icon instead of this pie chart icon, it means that your server is not ready for installing. And the most likely reason is that you haven't created logical drive. You can do this through this wizard by choosing system erase option, I think, or by hitting F8 while the server boots. I'll explain this in my other video. Since everything is OK for me, I'll simply click Install. And on this page, we should choose the drive where we want to install operating system. Since I have just one drive, I'll select it and I'll click Next. Here we should choose the operating system we want to install. I'll search for Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 64 bits Enterprise Edition. I'll select it and click Next. Uh, next step is to point to operating system media source. Since we made ISO image, I'll choose ISO image format from the second drop down list. And since our ISO image resides on USB key, I won't change anything in the first drop down list, so I'll simply click next. The wizard will display a USB drive. I'll double click it to see its content. And here is our ISO image. I'll select it. And as you can see, the next button is still disabled. Uh, it will take a few moments for system to check the ISO file. And after file is checked, uh, next button will be enabled again. And I'll click next. On this page, we should choose some partition setting, partition size. I left maximum and of course I left default file system NTFS. Click next and enter some basic information. Computer name SWS Noisy, 
appropriate name, administrator password, retype administrator password, organization name, SWS stands for Smart Web Solutions, owner name of course Fat Dragon, and I'll choose uh, my time zone from drop down list. and click next as you can read in the note on this page uh, this information is used to configure the server we are installing to communicate with and be managed by a central management server or CMS or hosting device uh, this subject is beyond the scope of this video and I'll probably make another video tutorial on HP Inside Management where this subject will be covered in detail. So, at this moment I won't install uh, any of these features and I'll choose No in both radio button list and I'll click Next. Here I left default value, express installation mode for ProLine support packs and I'll click next. And there is warning that after clicking next operating system will be installed and all drives will reset. Of course we already know that and I'll click next. And setup finally started. Uh, it'll take some time for setup to finish all necessary steps. Uh, it'll take probably about 10 minutes. So we have a plenty of time for us to enjoy in my singing. And now the end is here. And so I face the final curtain. What? Okay, okay, I'll simply cut my video. So I've cut off part of my video and I've sang for myself meanwhile. And I remember that Windows users don't like music. As you can see, the installation is now complete. So you should disconnect USB flash and put out Smart Start CD and click exit to reboot the server. After clicking exit, you wait a while. It won't happen as fast as in my case. Uh, I cut off uh, part of video again. And as you can see, server is now rebooting. Again, you should hit F1 to speed up procedure, so I'll do. And finally, here is the screen we are familiar with. Uh, Windows Server is starting up. And here is Microsoft Windows Software License Terms. I strongly suggest you to read this text in detail. It's very funny, you will enjoy it. And after reading, you can continue with installation of Windows Server. I won't guide you through further steps because I assume that you already know how to do this. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And this way you'll support my work. So thank you again and bye.